How is it going guys? Mutemaya back again with another video. So guys, in today's video, I'll show you how to do a full retouch in Photoshop. And to the photo we have in frame right now, you can see we are in Lightroom and we haven't done anything yet. I thought this photo with my 85mm lens f14 and the image looks really nice. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to do some color correction light here in Lightroom because I got a a question today on my youtube channel that um uh someone asking me how to do how i do my color correction and normally i don't use capture one i prefer using lightroom and yeah lightroom is actually somehow difficult if you're shooting raw images but i prefer using it because like it gives you more skills and that's what that's why i prefer using it so uh the first thing I'm going to do, I need to reduce the whites on the model's face because I feel the tones are not matching. And I'll I'll proceed in Photoshop to um, even the skin tones, but we have to correct the tones right here in Lightroom. So uh, let's go. So let's reduce the highlights slightly and let's reduce the whites and let's darken the, the blacks slightly. Uh, I always like to see the before and after as i continue with my tutorial yes so the next thing i'll just increase the shadows slightly and then on the white balance let's push this to be more warm to like 68 25 and the tint to something like plus 10 plus 13. i i feel the way it's looking it's really uh looking amazing for me i like the way the image is looking let's reduce the tint somehow to let's give it something like uh yeah i like how the image is looking right now so i just right click and go ahead and edit it in photoshop anything else vibrance and saturation i normally don't work on that so i prefer working on the basic adjustments and edit in photoshop because guys the minimum is the minimal remember always perfect your images on shooting so when you're editing the minimum is the best so what that's what i can tell you so the first thing we're going to do you can see how our wig is looking it's trying to detach itself from the face so what we're going to do we're going to remove uh the lace of the wig and also we try to remove all these blemishes first before we do frequency separation so uh, let me go ahead and pick my patch tool let's just draw this and see if it's if it's not working i love to use another method i prefer trying different things so that any which works for me is the best let's try to just edit fill control. let's see if this works if it doesn't work we we'll try something else uh let me zoom out i see if this how does this look yeah, I feel this is something I can always feather on. I can always perfect on frequency separation. So for me, I think it's looking nice. So I'll just go ahead and pick my uh, healing brush tool and let's perfect this uh, uh, lace removal right here because I think it doesn't look so nice, but that's, that's the best way we can do. And now I'll go to my... Uh, yeah i think it's, it's looking nice so the next thing we're going to do we're going to do uh frequency separation and before that remember we said we need to have an even skin tone and you can see this other part here of the model's uh body it's actually very dark and we need it to be as bright as the uh, body so i'll just come here to my actions and run my dodge and burn action and i'll just brush i'll just dodge the uh dark parts to just make them bright slightly so go ahead and just dodge this area right right here to just brighten it up so that it can look as exactly the same as the face yeah i really do like how it's looking so let me show you before and after before and after i think it's looking very nice right now so the next thing i'm control shift alt and t to create a, a new mud layer and then i'll now go ahead and do frequency separation because i need to do frequency separation so that i can even the lace uh, later so uh control j twice and let's call this a uh, texture and let's call this color 
okay select the texture layer i deselect the texture layer then go to color i go to filter and noise and then dust and scratches we need to perfect um, this to be looking as nice as possible so let's push the radius until we see the textures disappear from our model skin something like uh, let's say I think 14, 10 is okay. Let's give it a 10. Yeah, that looks nice. Then say okay. Then come back here and select uh, the texture layer. Activate the texture layer. Then go to image uh, in your computer. Image, apply image. Image, then apply image. And for this, it does it. If you're using the uh, noise, dust, and scratches, you don't have to add or uh, subtract. You just need to use, you don't have to. Uh, you have to use a uh, subtract whether using a 16-bit image or a 8-bit image So I'll come here and select the color layer and then make sure ch blending mode is uh, subtract Scale to offset 128 and don't select invert preserve transparency not selected and opacity of 100 and say okay Change the blending mode right here to linear light and up to that point you need to uh, already uh, back your image so after that, I'll go ahead and create a black and white copy on top right here, like that. And select the color layer, and let's retouch, start retouching this image. For me to perfect my images, I prefer rotating slightly. So just press R on my keyboard and start rotating to the direction you want your image to look. Always remember you're retouching the mixer brush. Uh, come up here and make sure it's a very soft brush. Make sure it's a clean brush and also wetness 10, load 75, mix 90, and flow of 100. And let's start brushing. You can also always go ahead and disable the uh, texture so that you can see how you're retouching the, this, the color, color layer. So because you have to perfect the retouching so that the more plastic it looks, the more your image uh, will look nice. So you can always go back and enable the uh, texture layer. So I'll just go ahead and fast forward this so that I can... No, actually I won't fast forward this because I need you guys to follow. Don't overstroke in one area. Always do it as softly as possible. And I know there are so many uh, different ways you can do frequency separation outside there. So anyone which gives you results, I always prefer, or which works for your style, I always prefer to just uh, do that. But this just a bit, these are tutorials on how you can make your work easier on, or mostly are made for upcoming photographers who are learning photography. And guys, I've been getting your testimonials and I, I really appreciate, I also appreciate for the love and support you guys are showing me. I'm very, very grateful. I'm trying to be as consistent as possible. I try to upload a new video every single week. So let's continue. Uh, so as I said, if you want to be like surprised with your results or you want your results to look amazing, always learn to disable the texture layer. Uh, for me, I try to do tutorials where I'm already I've disabled the texture layer and others which I haven't disabled because everyone has the way everyone understands their style. So guys, you can see how I'm brushing. I'm being very precise because I don't want to make the model's face look practice, but look pra plastic. But I um now you can see yeah let's let's. You can see, I think the face is almost done. I'll always come back and retouch now the remaining blemishes. For me to go back to my straight image, I'll just press escape and my image will come back uh, straight. So I'll just go ahead and retouch these other parts of the body, like the torso or the, yeah, this area. I just, let me continue brushing. Hope you learned something from my tutorials. I'm trying to upload as many tutorials as possible and help an upcoming photographer out there or a photographer who wants to refresh their skills so yeah so let's brush like that you can see how i'm brushing because i just want to don't overdo it just stroke one stroke as you pass so i 
I like how it's really looking right now and the more plastic it looks the more you can always go ahead and enable the texture layer for you to see the outcome yeah and I don't like use I, I for my tutorials I'm, I'm really working so much on not using actions and LUTs because many people complain we use LUTs and you don't understand so I'm doing everything from scratch hope you guys I'll attach this image on description before below so that you can download it and edit along with me and also when you post your results always don't forget to tag me so you can see how far we are i just disable the black and white so that i can see the hair perfectly because i just need to uh, move my brush around the hair slightly yeah i think the image is looking as i said the more plastic it looks the more uh nice looking your image will always come out looking so guys at that point hope you are with me just go ahead and enable the texture layer and just zoom in your image and see how much difference there let me just go ahead and put all these two in a group and group and let's call this frequency separation frequency separation uh, let me just disable the group and see you show you how much you have done before and after before frequent separation after frequent separation before after before after let me perfect it on this other side right here because i just need the image to look as nice as amazing as possible i like how the image is looking and at that point your image might be looking already okay before and after before and after make sure your image is not distorted but i'll just uh select the texture layer and pick your clone stamp tool uh zoom in your image slightly and just remove any remaining blemish i uh, just press alt to sambo and just paste sambo paste sambo paste uh, i'll just do this and see you guys back after i'm done with the blemish uh removal hope you guys are following along i want you to learn as much as possible because yeah So guys i'm back from removing all the blemishes so the next thing i'll go ahead and do is a uh, dodge and burn and for the method we'll be using in this video is in this uh, specific video is the one uh, of the lines dodge and burn i'll just uh, draw lines more add lines on the shadows and add lines on the highlights so i'll go ahead and run my uh, micro my global dodge and burn action everyone i believe knows how to create dodge and burn actually let me just create dodge and burn layers specifically uh if uh, the reason i'm not creating them specifically is because my computer always tends to drag when you're working with curves so let's say for example you have curves when you push them up that's don't and when you push them down that's burn and dodging is enhancing the shadows enhancing the eye the highlights and burning is enhancing the shadows so i'll go ahead and run my global dodge and burn action and i'll just select the dodge pick your brush and remember we say we're using the lines uh dodge and burn and so i'll just push my hardness to 100 and let's zoom in 
If you want to see the highlights and the shadows perfectly on your image, create a black and white. Uh, this will define your shadows and highlights perfectly. So uh, let's start with burning. I'll just come here and make sure the flow of your brush is at 100 and draw some lines on this shadow right here. So draw a line on that shadow right here and let's draw another line on this shadow like right there. And also, let's draw some line on this shadow right here, and also on these ones right here. Uh, pick, select on the dodge, and let's draw some lines on the forehead like that. Perfect. And then one long line, and then one right here. Also another one right here, and another one right there. It's really looking nice. So. Let's draw another one right here. Anywhere you feel you, you can see a shadow or a highlight, uh, always perfect it. You always feather it later. So this is what this is how you dodge and burn with using the lines method and this or add brush method. This is the best. Uh, this is some of the best uh, uh, dodge and burn of dodge and burn methods I use. I did. I'm I'm trying to make this video as symbol as possible so let's uh, right click on the properties of your dodge and burn and then come here and select on the dodge right here on the uh, layer mask and let's feather this as much as possible until you can see it disappears and then come back to the burn and just feather it until you see it disappears uh, blend it in more to just make your image looks amazing i like how it's really looking let's blend for the shadows perfectly i like how it's looking right now now the next thing we're going to do we're going to do some color grading uh i'll go to select and then selective color new select a new layer or a new adjustment layer then select selective color and remember skin tones are always made of yellow and color uh, red so select the reds and push the cyan to this side and push the yellows to this side come back and select yellows push the cyan to this side uh, slightly negative 18 uh, and push the yellows to this side slightly until you feel you have in a nice colors and just go ahead and reduce the opacity of your uh, selective color as low as possible come down here and select gradient map and right click and select the legacy gradient push down and select photographic toning and guys let's say for example you don't have this in your computer what you need to do just come here to window and then select gradient grantians and just select right here and you'll see legacy grantians right there and now when you come down you'll always see photographic toning right there and i'll just delete that sorry i'll just come back and select my gradient map that's how if you want it to come here on this uh, area right here legacy gradient and come here and select photographic toning and always select this sapia antique this is the best one for uh, dark skin models or for for skin tones and make sure they select the opacity or make sure that you select the blending mode to soft light and now reduce the opacity as low as possible you don't want your images to look over contrasted so you just need to make it look as nice as possible i think it looks amazing right now and then i just control shift alt and t to create now a merge layer and let me work on the background slightly so pick your uh a spot healing brush tool and just let's remove this a few blemishes on the background because we just need to make sure the image is looking pretty nice now i like the results i have so far i feel this is really looking so nice so the next thing i'm going to do i'll come here to new adjustment layer then select vibrance and let's push the vibrance to this side slightly because we want a very contrasted image like that and i like how it's looking right now so what i'm going to do now let me control shift alt and t to uh, 
merge everything together and now i'll just go ahead i need to liquefy this chin right here to just make it look amazing so uh go to filter and then uh other or go to filter other and then i don't know why it's not liquef liquefying i don't know where i can see that it's there liquefy most of the time liquefy i always get it at the filter other so it just depends on how you set your photoshop so i'll just go ahead and let's push this chin as up as possible very slightly like that just make the image look amazing if it isn't looking nice for you you can always go ahead and just delete the password we have done with the uh, if it doesn't look so nice you can always go ahead and reduce not reduce the opacity just delete the layer because when you reduce the opacity you can see how it looks it doesn't look so nice so uh, for me I like it the way it's looking right now so that's perfect so that's all and I just go ahead and select uh, brightness and contrast and select uh, legacy le use legacy and push it inside like that slightly and yes that's all that's all for today's video hope you learned something or now you can retouch your images to make them look amazing let me just show you the before before we did anything on this image let's disable the uh if i disable the texture the, the, the all the layers right here you can see how our image looked before we did anything and this is how our image sorry this is how our image looks after we have done with uh, everything so guys uh see you in the next video for this video i'm not waiting the eyes as i said it's just how to uh retouch color grade and do dodge and burn on this video if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this photo if you enjoyed uh this video don't forget to uh give it a thumbs up and see you in the next uh video peace out